They're gonna look like an alien UFO cockpit, man. Once it's all done with all the vinyl, the lights, the control panels. Let's do a quick, you know, I guess 360. We're back outside working. We lived it, we survived it, and we're here back on the grind after this crazy hurricane, man. If you are new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button because, man, we do you know car audio builds in the backyard man we build loud stuff clean stuff anything that you want to see man we got it here on the channel man so simply pause the video hit that subscribe and then if you want to just hit that like right off the bat because you know we are going to do some fire content for today's video definitely stay tuned for the full video to see what we actually do with these pieces of wood right here man they're just sitting here they're taking up space and we need to knock off this project and get it done and get my boy out there jamming and flexing for people out there that want to see his truck done so we're going to go ahead and get on the grind with that I am itching, I am jonesing, I am anxious, I am all the, the above to get my Silverado done. I want to see how crazy, how destructive this thing's going to be. I want to see things flex. Man, I want to see door panels, you know, move, shake, rattle, and roll. I want to see this back window flexing like crazy. Man, I want to see this topper, you know, doing this. Because we are still doing the crazy sound system in my Silverado, man. So, man, definitely stay tuned for that and the videos to come, man. Because this thing right here is going to be vicious. So, you can get a quick sneak peek, man. Look, we got four Sundown Audio uh, 12s E-Series to 500 watts. But, man, we are throwing 5,000 watts to these guys because we, we're going to try to make some smoke. We're going to try to break things. We're going to try to do so much. But we're here to learn and we're here to drop some fire content for you guys. Enough talking. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe yet, man. And let's get back to work. A few moments later if you haven't seen what's going on with these pieces of wood man just scroll back to the videos that we've been dropping and you see watch all the videos to see where what who what when where how we ended up at this point so these are actually going in my friends um, Siamese twins air side um, f-150 and his gen 1 lightning And we are here to make them two identical consoles because it's basically the same truck and he wants them to look basically the same thing. You know, we're just going to go ahead and just build them two consoles at the same time. But he was actually at Oktoberfest. Um, I think that's what it was called in Germany. So he just got back from his trip and I need to get some product. But man, for today, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and start assembling these guys because they need to start looking like something. So this shell right here is actually um, for my same friend that has the blue trucks that we're going to work on the consoles of the pieces that are over there. This is actually a shell of a box we were going to build, but I'm going to actually show you what we're going to do with it real quick. You guys ready? Let's go ahead and one, two, three. Garbage. It's just taking up dead space. We're gonna build them a better one. We're stepping up our game. And Castro, if you're watching this, I got since it's too costly, we gotta cut two pieces basically at the same time, one for each side. So let's go ahead and set it. And let's go ahead and start cutting. Today's video goal, uh, I think last video we got like 30 and some change or maybe 40 likes. Man, let's get 50 likes on this video, man. Let's get it. Man, I actually look pretty rough right now, man. So let me go ahead and shave real quick, man, just to get rid of the, the shadow. And I'll be right back. A few moments later. Back, man. Okay. So much better. So much better. I know the neighbors hate when I do this, man, but I got to. You know, we still got to work. We got to staple the pieces together that we just cut out. So, man, let's just pray. Hopefully no neighbors come out. We got our pieces right here that we're going to be working with. But we also have all these scrap pieces so what we're going to actually do is we're just going to go ahead and start cutting um, a lot of this stuff off just so we can get rid of the scrap wood because it is taking up a lot of room and this three quarter MDF is very 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 heavy guys so I can only imagine how much weight it is with those guys and those guys put together man I don't think that table is built for it but they've been holding strong Way better look at that all that that was over there now it's just, just that right now and we have our little pieces that we're going to start to work on them right now and now we have a clean table that we can actually pull out and we can start to work on it over here all 
Okay, we got um, two sets of the consoles out. One piece goes right here. The other piece goes over there. Back. So we're ready. And real quick, man, I thought I had fell off for today because my sister's house actually got damaged during the hurricane. And I let uh, my brother-in-law get the little small pancake air compressor that I got, a small stapler, and the other black hose. And I was like, man, I ain't got no hose today, man. But luckily, we got an orange hose. And we're ready. <laughs> So before I actually show you what they look like, look, this is what it comes down looking to. Let me scoot back a little bit so you can see. So that's how it looks. Now let's see the transformation in five, four, three, two, one. Look at it. Looks good. Way different. Okay, so you see now it's looking like something. And we got one here and the other one over here. Very good. And I didn't want to put screws on it. I like staples. Um, and it's well assembled. We got the glue on it ready sitting and so now we're gonna get our bendy ply And then we're gonna actually go ahead and start bending some of this wood to give it a little bit of shape guys So let's get a little bit of sandpaper action and just really squeeze everything out Because this is when the bendy ply comes into play And I don't want anything to hold up and I think we just took a part of our pad down, man. That's crazy. Next thing on the list is we actually have our bendy play right here. We pretty much already got marked off where we're going to stop it at so we can have nice solid bends. So basically we're just going to like wood glue it down and then staple it down and then cut it at a certain place so it holds its shape and it does what we're trying to let it do. All right, so we got our pieces cut out with our bendy ply, and we're gonna go ahead and put glue on the edges, and then we're gonna go ahead and bend it as much as possible, and staple it down, and we still gotta make a top piece to curve down, but the seam's actually gonna get hidden when we do the speaker pod right here. That's gonna house six tweeters and six on there. It's gonna look really badass. Same thing as well here, because they're all getting the same identical stuff. So let's get it. Alright guys, there you go. The console has just been started. We got the top piece, we got the side pieces, and we got them shaped like something, man. It was almost like a full day affair, but sadly, I got to pick up kids from school, so I had to come to a, stall, a stop, I mean. But basically, we just got the strips to do on top. 
uh, curve them, screw them down, and they're ready to rock and roll. Like I already figured out the method. So from now on, whenever we do consoles with bendy ply, I know exactly what to do. Um, and I know exactly how deep to go with curves. So we know for future consoles, man, we're, we're going to get them down pack. But, you know, this is somewhat where the cup holders are going to go. And, man, they're going to look futuristic. They're going to look like an alien UFO cockpit, man. Once it's all done with all the vinyl, the lights, the control panels, the tablets. So it's going to have tablet, control panel, and EQ. And then this is going to be kind of a blank area. And then it's going to start up here with speakers right here. And it's going to look awesome. And then with speakers on the sides as well. And then we're going to have the side panels with router edges, so they look very beautiful, man. But this is what it's starting out to look like. Definitely subscribe and stay tuned for tomorrow's video where they start to take more shape. And so you guys can really see the, the outcome or visualize the outcome what's going to be for these center consoles, man. Because it, we ain't stopping. We're trying a lot of new stuff and we're going to, you know, upgrade our techniques so they give us beautiful finish at stay the end. for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to pick up where we're leaving off today. So we can just continue this build and get this one done so then we can continue on Silverado but I will probably try to sneak in and make molds of the Silverado first thing one of these mornings I'm gonna go ahead and get I got resin I just need hardener so we can go ahead and get the shapes of the doors so we can have the molds ready then I can put my doors back on and then we can work off of it man so we can get these doors going because we just need door panels cut the, the bed and put stuff in and we'll be good with Silverado, man. But we still got lots of work to do with that. Still lots of work to do with this. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe, drop some comments. Let's get 50 likes on this video. And with that being said, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.